Hello and welcome to the show. We start this week's Fail Race episode on Forza Horizon 2 as we're whizzing down the motorway at really rather high speeds. Unfortunately, have slightly, slightly missed our turning. This Lamborghini gives a little bump to a Volkswagen Golf. Unfortunately, a Fox is a little bit less lucky. He gets fired up into the air, uses the Hurricane as a ramp, and that is some serious distance. There's some serious distance from the poor little fox. Uh, Yo Defty on 4 to 6 with all manner of lag going. <laughs> First the transit goes underneath him, then the cars uh, jump about, then the transit kind of phases past and the Capri decides it should go for a roll, all while he hasn't been able to get control of the vehicle. That is some peculiar and quite serious lag going on at the start of a race there. Certainly not what you want to be seeing. Jamja Hastings on Forza 6 is a go for a drifting around this long corner at Road America. Carries a little too much speed, gets it wrong, tips the car over onto the grass. Not necessarily uncommon, however, the Jaguar doesn't really quite know when to stop with the roll. And <laughs> still it goes and spins. That's some impressive, impressive brake dancing. From the uh, from the Jag there, we're back on to uh, Forza Five Ooh, with a Formula One car and some nasty curbs at Le Mans. That's uh, that's a pretty vicious fire. The uh, Lotus F1 car there into uh, into the air. This can be quite nasty curbs. Certainly, Don't, not very often they launch Formula One cars that high. That was some some big big height off of a curb. A uh, Gears Five Seven One on a GTA Five is depositing a little bit of money. Comes out of the phone menu and there's a. Uh, Sand King stuck on top of a grizzly. Uh, that's not. That's AI cars that have just. That's yeah. I'm not quite sure how the Sand. And then they just get off and carry on as normal. Not quite sure how the Sand King managed to uh, find his way up there. But uh, there we go. LG Venom also on GTA 5 isn't quite paying attention as they whiz through the movie studio. And well, that's well and truly parked, isn't it? <laughs> Bounces off a wall and gets his coquettes slightly wedged. There. That's not a good, not a good place to end up or the uh, end up with your vehicle. Still on GTA 5, this is one of these sort of obstacle course races. The motorbike gets right on the edge. I mean, he couldn't have got much closer than his friend promptly splatters himself on the floor. You couldn't get much closer to the edge if you tried, and he was saved on that by the slight grind along one of the uh, train carriages there. A an impressive landing. Red Gliscor 1 on a GTA 5 with an equally impressive landing. Now, I've all seen these ramps. We've all messed about with these ramps from time to time. Goes for the double roll and lands on a plane. That's, uh, unfortunately it does slide, I've not already the surface there for a T20 to rest on, but um, that was that was quite, quite, quite an impressive landing. Yeah, I've never managed to stick a landing on one of those, uh, one of those planes. We are still on uh, GTA 5, going for a splatter on a motorcyclist, and he did not approve. The uh, Zentorno gets flung up into the air. Normally it's the Zentorno that will lift cars up and fling them into the air, but no, this time it is the motorbike that wasn't very happy about being run over, and promptly sends the supercar tumbling down the side of the hill, and then the motorbike decides to come and join him as well. I'm not quite sure how the bike ended up down here. Either way, it, uh, it found his way. Sticking with a motorbike, we've got Toby on the uh, Crew Wild Run Beta, messing about with the Super Jump. They've uh, managed to get the bike sort of wedged under here, and the game gets unhappy. And then we're going to go 550 kilometers an hour backwards. That's got to be a speed record for going backwards uh, across the map, and that's a very painful crash into a very, very solid rock face. Um, yeah, that's that. That's got to be a, a, a world record for fastest speed achieved in reverse. Still on the crew wheel, these jumps are so dangerous. The, La the Lamborghini Superleggera, uh, well, it's got quite good weight distribution from side to side there as it has landed perfectly on the barrier. They are so, such dangerous jumps, them ones, and you're not getting the car off there. Mission is well and truly failed. Uh, Zombie King 33 on the crew. Now, having your steering wheel turn off is never a good thing in a video game. Uh, sure enough, the McLaren is stuck steering to the left. The game did not approve and decided it should go 230 miles an hour backwards through a building. Pretty quick. Doesn't quite beat the uh, motorbike, but still pretty impressive from the uh, McLaren. MC Evan 99 on the crew. Now we've seen not to mess about with the aeroplanes on the crew. Plenty of times. The aeroplanes do not like being nudged. Turns out chasing a train gets a similar outcome as he gives it a nudge and train is immediately unhappy and decides to fire him through some trees. 
Don't mess about. Don't mess about with the indigenous vehicles in the uh, crew. Krampus on R Factor. The Montreal circuit around the wall of champions. That is a new way to crash at that part of the track. I will be honest, as the uh, Honda bounces around eventually comes to a uh, rest on its wheels. Yeah, that's not normally the accident that you see at that part of the course. SMS Racing Team on WRC5 carries a little bit too much speed into the tight corner and overshoots as that got to try and find his to find the gear, get going again. Probably not a good idea to bump onto the crash barrier. Problem is it lifted the, uh, the car up. The Hyundai is now... Yeah, you're not going to really be going anywhere, are you? That's... Uh, <laughs> That's well and truly stuck on the uh, on the crash barrier. And finally, we have Mad Trucker 24 not paying attention. We've seen many of these where people are not paying attention to where they're driving. This time, it's with a tank, and said tank is well and truly stuck. There's not a good place to uh, end up uh, on that part. Don't really want to be falling down. I'm not sure if it's an enemy tank over there that is trying to come around and get him. And just where you think things couldn't really get any worse. I mean, the tank is well and truly stuck. And just to add insult to injury, yeah, we'll 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 stick it on its roof just for good measure. Yeah, that's, it could get a kill assist at the very end there, but uh, that's why you pay attention to where you're driving. Anyway, that is it for this episode. If you have clips you would like to submit to this series, then you can via our forums. There will be a link in the description. At the very top is the Fail Race Clip Submission section, and in there you can find all of the rules and how to submit them. But uh, that is it from me. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.